If you've ever experienced the death of a pet, you know it can be hard for pet owners to openly grieve. Well, Deborah and Marley are here today, Mary Lee rather, are here today to talk about a pet loss workshop that will give you the opportunity to tell stories and, and learn a bit about grief and come together with others in a supportive atmosphere. So we've got two things that we want to talk about, but first let's talk about that pet loss workshop uh, that's coming up on October 16th. Yes, it's the first time we're offering this. We realize it's a real need in our community, especially for those of us who have mm -hmm. pets. And we do know that it's kind of a, a loss that isn't often recognized by other people, especially if, if they're not pet people. And they don't understand that they're, ju I mean, they're, they're family members. Mm -hmm. and, and, I mean, oh, just, I, I'm, I'm crazy about dogs, and mm -hmm. I've, I've had to go through that before, mm -hmm. and it's, it's tough. It is. And so we need to have a place. We want to offer that opportunity then in, in a support setting to talk about your loss and understand your grief and how, you know, we, we grieve that as much as it is perhaps a loved one. Or, and I also tell people we grieve all changes in yeah. life. But this is significant when this pet is a part of your life and your daily routine. And we want to talk about how you can uh, honor that loss and ways to uh, work through it. Well, Deborah, I appreciate that. Mary Lee, let's talk about, because this is, I, I think it's one of the things I've never really put a whole lot of thought into, but it's, there's definitely a need out there. Talk to me about the, P, the Pet Peace of Mind uh, event that you have going on. Well, actually, it's a volunteer. It's okay. part of our volunteer program. And uh, we've realized that uh, when a patient is going through a terminal illness and thinking about um, the future, and they worry about their pets, and they wonder, you know, how am I going to continue to care for this pet? And, what's going to happen when, when I'm, I'm no longer here to do that. So we have a group of volunteers that can help out with that. And they do, uh, they do just about everything from grooming to, uh, tell us some of the other things that the volunteers do. Uh, volunteers can help with taking if, uh, the dog to the vet mm -hmm. just for its annual checkup or if it's ill. Also, it, taking the pet to the nursing home maybe where uh, the patient is now. Uh, maybe they had to leave their home yeah. and leave their pet at home. Just having that visit from their companion yeah. means a lot. Where can people go to find out more information if they want to volunteer to do something like that? You can call our main number, and that's 356-0026. Okay. And uh, just ask for me, and uh, we'll be glad to sit down and visit with them. The Pet Peace of Mind uh, volunteer program, uh, much needed. I, and yes. it's something, again, that... Uh, we can't discount how much we love our pets and how much we worry about them. Uh, Deborah, one more time, tell us where we can uh, go to get more information about your program. Call the same number, 356-0026, and the workshop will be next week, the okay. 16th, and call to register or talk to me, and we'll be happy to have you there. That's October 16th from 530 to 7. Ladies, thank you for coming in. Before we go, uh, introduce me uh, to your little buddy there. This is Ollie, and uh, he's 10 years old. And he's a Papillon Shih Tzu mix. Oh, it's adorable. And he's precious. We, <laughs> lo we love our pets around here, no doubt about it. Ladies, thank you. Coming up next, how can you handle a...